So a couple weeks ago, we go to the track. I, haven't, I did that a couple of times in my life. Betting on the horses. It can't possibly win. I don't even understand what we're betting on. I mean, do the horses know that it's a race? Are they aware? Well, what is going on here? After the race of the horses walking back to the stable, I was third, I was first, I was ninth. I think they're thinking, oat bag, I get my oat bag now. Oat bag time. I got a bet on this idiot. I mean, I'm sure the horses have some idea that the jockey is in a big hurry. I mean, he's on him, he's hitting him with the thing. He's going, come on, come on. This is obviously, he, he's in a hurry. The jockey's in a hurry. But the horse must get to the end and go, we were just here. What was the point of that? This is where we were. That was the longest possible route you could take. Why didn't we just stay here? We would have been first. I'll tell you one thing the horses definitely do not know. They do not know if you should accidentally trip and break your leg at any point during the race, we blow your brains out. I think they're missing that little tidbit of information. I think if they knew that, you'd see some mighty careful stepping coming down that home stretch. Take it easy, take it easy. You win, I'll place, whatever. The important thing is your health. I've gone horseback riding, I can't do that. Uh, and I, they don't give you the really good horses when you're not good at it, I found out. The guy says to me, what level rider would you say that you are? I said, I don't know, zero, nothing, whatever the system is. I can't do it, is that clear enough for you? I'm going where the horse wants to go. That's my level. Of course, to hear that, they start looking around. All right, is glue stick back yet? <laughs> How about almost dead? Why don't you saddle him up? So I get on this U-shaped lightning quick steed. I got the only horse. You could put your feet flat on the ground while you're riding it. I'm riding a hammock here. Looking up at my friends. I don't feel like we all got the same kind of horse here. It's kind of a secure feeling. I could walk along with him if I wanted. But he, and the horse wasn't too thrilled with having me either. Because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So he takes control. Going this way, going that way. I'm trying to, come on, come on. Then they just stop. You know, and you're... What? What is it? You know. And they look up at you. <laughs> Chill out, hop along. I know the trail. Yeah, I'm here every goddamn day, okay? And I really appreciate the kicking while I'm taking a leak, too. Yeah, thanks a lot. That really improves the already wonderful life that I have. People either sitting on me or kicking me while I'm peeing. I'm living in a paradise here at the ranch. I get out of a car that has 300 horsepower so I can sit on an animal that has one. Why do we even use the term horsepower? Is that to further humiliate horses? The space shuttle rockets have 20 million horsepower. Is there any point in still comparing it to the horses? or? Any chance of going back to using rockets with horses, trying to keep track of how many we're going to need? <laughs> hey, horses, the rocket engines broke down. Can you get 20 million friends together really fast? 20 million, that's a lot. <laughs> they make glue out of horses. I don't know who uh, started that. Who saw that potential? That's pretty amazing to me. Are you working in a stationary store? A horse walks by? Hey, wait a minute. I think he could be glue. 
How do we pick out the really sticky ones? You leave that to me. <laughs> what about that one over there? He's weaving around. He looks like he's out of his mind. He'll be crazy glue. <laughs> to me, the toughest part of that horse life is that trailer. What, why do they make the horse trailer like that? Is that the best way to move a horse out on the highway? With their huge, fat, disgusting rear ends right in my face? Do the horses like it? They're probably standing in the back going, do you feel a draft, Bill? I can't see anything back there, but it's awfully breezy, isn't it? You don't think our huge, fat asses are hanging out the back of this truck, do you? Why the hell would they do that to us? They already ride us around and kick us while we're peeing. Why stick our ass out of a truck? <laughs>